India is poised to become the fifth largest economy in the world. As more buildings are added at a healthy rate of 8% every year, building energy use is skyrocketing. Trends in the Indian construction, especially the new construction, the urban heat increase, and the high occupancy levels in India present unique challenges to the building ecosystem. India enjoys many advantages, including a strong tradition of passively cool buildings, a wide occupant tolerance to heat, a ready supply of local sustainable construction materials, inexpensive labor and craft costs, and careful use of resources. At Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, we are committed to working with the Indian research community, industry, and government to develop building technologies that enhance building comfort, push the envelope for efficiency, and improve the health, safety, and life of building occupants in both countries. The United States and India have been collaborating on a U.S.-India Joint Center for Building Energy Research and Development called Seabird. Seabird is a dynamic public-private partnership that involves academic research institutions and partners in both countries that do collaborative research to bring new energy efficiency technology to both U.S. and India. In Seabird, we deploy what we call a three-by-three three model. The first three is make sure that we advance government policies, industrial practice, and research findings about energy efficient buildings. And the second three is making sure that we understand how to design them right, how to build them right, and how to operate them right. Only when this happens, we are able to implement on a wide scale throughout the economy energy efficient buildings with technologies that are highly cost effective and are able to reduce energy consumption per square foot by about a factor of five below what is the norm. Through the collaborative research between US researchers and Indian researchers, over the last five years of Seabird, we have developed nine new technologies, 40 significant exchanges between Indian scientists and U.S. scientists, more than 100 peer-reviewed publications, four patent disclosures, and we have more than 10 demonstrations. One of the guiding principles of doing that was to bring together information technology and physical systems. U.S. has had a long lead for building world-class physical systems, facades, HVAC systems, high-efficiency chillers, and so on. India has a fantastic depth in technical prowess in information technology. Our goal was to bring them together in a way that benefits both countries and both each country gets more than what they put in. Working shoulder to shoulder on common problems, developing joint publications, joint technologies, having joint demonstration projects has led to such a deep mutual respect and understanding that I couldn't have imagined we would, have be, we would be ending at this point. The expertise that the U.S. scientists brought in in this Indo-U.S. collaborative project on building energy efficiency was very helpful. It helped in accelerating the research developing products and processes which can be deployed and make a real difference in the building sector in India. Another way we collaborate between the U.S. and India is by developing tools and resources for the public that are available on our websites, as well as new facilities like this game-changing facility called FlexLab. FlexLab is the world's most advanced test bed for energy efficient technologies. FlexLab is also a testing system to allow us to integrate the systems with the electric grid, with batteries and photovoltaic systems. I want to mention the new best practices guide that is a tool for how to design energy efficient buildings. And it has a lot of information on designing the facade, the HVAC systems, and other components for low energy buildings. These best practices are particularly suited to the cultural, climatic, and construction context of India. The guide is based on three core principles. One, using a triple bottom line framework for energy efficiency decision making using financial capital, environmental capital, and enhanced working environments as a theme. Two, aggressive but achievable energy performance targets. 
and three, creating a shared set of values across all stakeholders from building owners, developers, builders, architects, engineers, and policy makers. The strategic insight into design, the idea of integrating the building with its electromechanical systems in conceptualizing solutions is a real lesson here. It is the technical depth, the analytical framework, and the advice that is given where as, as the guide goes across various climatic zones and look at, looks at different technical solutions is extremely helpful indeed. I think it's a great piece of work. I feel like India's being propelled into a digital and decarbonized future and buildings are a prime opportunity to actually use this advantage and really make and shape the future.